I'm Rosie and today we are talking about getting a new instrument. So I've had this Celestial Sound in my possession for about 24 hours and I just wanted to talk through what I do when I'm getting to know something new. So you've just got your new instrument, you want to sit down and play it for hours and hours and hours. Amazing! But unfortunately getting to know it really well does involve a bit of sitting down with a pen and paper. So here's what I've got. The first thing I do is grab a scrap bit of paper and write down every single note that you can hear. So in the middle, I've got my ding, and I just work up around it. Because even if you have that list of which tones you have, you don't always know whereabouts on the instrument they're going to be. So you really got to sit down and find a way of remembering exactly where each note's going to be, just so you can write it down. If you're familiar with a different instrument, you can use that to pitch reference. But all you're doing is playing the first note. All right, I know that's neat, that's cheating because it's the ding, but I'd write that down. Maybe I can sing my intervals and I know that's a perfect fourth, or I want to sit down and just poke around on the piano until I hear the note that sounds the same. If you've not got a keyboard, there's loads of great online pianos. I use that even when I can't be bothered to go next door to where my keyboard is. So you want to play that. You're going to play a bunch of different notes. Finally, figure out, okay, that's a B. Right. Grab your pen. Write down B underneath it. My next size note. Okay, so either I can do this into a jump. Boom, beam. Know what that is. Or I can reference it off the E. Beam a fifth there or again you're just poking around on the piano until you find that do that all the way up the instrument try and find a way of writing it out that doesn't look too scruffy and you know what it means for me writing it down is a good way of consolidating it so i can come back and reference it whenever i want but obviously ultimately we want to get it in our mind and off the page this instrument also has notes underneath so i've done a second circle here and i take my notebook and i write things down a little bit more clearly it's still not that clear <laughs> The first thing I want to do is be able to play a scale. So I need to work out where the lowest note is and where the highest note is. You're going in order of size, so it shouldn't be too tricky. I'm going to start off just exploring the top. Normally we go hand to hand, so once you've played a note with your left hand, look for the next note to be on the right hand side. This instrument also has notes underneath, so now we're taking a little bit more thinking to try and work out exactly where all of those notes are. <laughs> it's hard. It's day one, it's day one, give me a break. <laughs> But we also need to work out where the notes on our scale are. So when we talk about a scale, we are talking about the letter names, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Once we get to G, we're repeating around again. Some of those notes might be altered, so you might have a G sharp or an A flat, but your scale should still have every single letter name in it. Equally, some of your handpans will have some of those notes omitted, so they won't all be present. But in your mind, you always need to be counting up in the letter names. So let's have a go, we'll start with E. I want to just find every single E on my handpan and I've got this cheat sheet that I've written down to help remind me. Now the next letter name is F, in my case it's an F sharp, but I'm just going to find them. Now the G's. The A's. The B's. The C's, in my case C sharps. The D's again, D sharps for me. And the E's again. So I want to get to the stage where I can play any of them immediately and I just know that this note is an E. Why don't you drop a comment with what your handpan scale is and I'll see if I can give you any tips. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for a new video every week.